and many other parameters. You can have that static Young's uh, Young's modulus, Poisson ratio. All right, all parameters we can have grid of them. But the main or the the basic, the minimum requirement that we need is this five parameters. Okay, so far so good. We can save. All right. So yeah, that's the basic. And now we can go to fleet properties. Okay, fleet properties. Okay, this is for relative permeability. We have the, the data of it, the permeability or the relative permeability for water oil versus water saturation. Okay, relative permeability of water will be or is shown in blue curves. Permeability of oil, red curve. And the green line is capillary pressure. And gas oil versus gas saturation. Okay, we still use, we are still using the default value, but most of the time we will, yeah, we have to modify these numbers as per our laboratory data. Okay, but we will keep it for now. Okay, and for the PVT black oil, like this one, we have variant one, the model variant one, and currently we only have water. We have two properties, formation volume factor and viscosity. Okay, we need oil properties and gas properties. Okay, we can do that by clicking this button, launch PVT designer. Okay, now we will go to PVT designer to design the PVT model, especially for oil and for gas. Click, all right. All right, can, you can click close. The name is Ferian one or we can also rename to PVT. All right, this is for water and we need to provide for oil. We click this one, we click oil. And for now, for simplicity, we will just use this default numbers. So the minimum, the maximum, the table type, the correlation, we will use, yeah, standing or maybe Vasquez Becks, Vasquez Becks, Becks Robinson, right? That's why we need to learn or we need to study the PVT analysis, the Kato. But for simplicity, I will use standing instead for all the parameters. And using these correlation parameters, the temperature, the oil specific gravity, gas specific gravity, bubble point pressure, isothermal compressibility, and also the GOR, all right, gas solubility, calibration coefficient. If you want to do viscosity versus temperature, you can select this one and we will use this table. All right, if you want to simulate or model viscosity, as a function of temperature, right? And you, as you can see, by increasing the temperature, the viscosity will, will be lower. Okay, so this is the typical, or this is the default numbers. In reality, you, you have to use your PVT laboratory data, but for uh, simplicity, we can click okay. So now we have oil model that will be used in our simulation, in our modeling. All right. Okay. Yeah, you can see the plot, the gas solubility, RS, 
or gas oil ratio, and also the formation volume factor, the blue line, viscosity, the red line, compressibility. Okay, and this is the plot and the table. This is viscosity versus temperature table. All right, so far so good. Now we need to construct the gas. Open again, gas. Again, I will use the default numbers. You can see for viscosity, you can use Lee et al. Oh, only Lee et al is available. And for gas formation volume factor, only standing. Okay, so the temperature 100, specific gas ratio, specific gravity of the gas one, Z factor 0.9. Click OK. And this is the plot. We have formation volume factor, viscosity, and compressibility, the gas, and the, the plot, and the table. So far, so good. OK. We can, the, the data will be automatically stored in the model designer. So from here, we can close. All right. Okay, you can see we have oil, we can we have gas, and we have water. All right, so PVT okay. Now equilibration data specification. 